she's trying to kill me, Liz. Really? I mean, not physically, but definitely emotionally. And I hear that's a slow death. I mean, everything's just happening backwards. I mean, I become friends with her after she's my ex. Oh, didn't she mention you guys were never actually dating? See, this is another thing. This is just yet another thing that I'm having a problem with. Well, you could stop hanging out with her and thus stop torturing yourself. That's always an option. That's all I'm saying. Okay, first of all, I'm not torturing myself. I mean, I actually like her friends. Oh, so is that where you were Friday night? Well, yeah, I mean, I we took a we took a ride and stuff. You know, her boyfriend and everything was driving. But, you know, we, we had a good time. I even talked about how I was going to get pregnant. I told you about that, right? I vaguely remember you saying something about it. Okay, okay, okay. So it's this French scientist, right? Mm. So he found out a way. If you artificially inseminate a placenta, you could hook it into a vital organ of a guy. It, it, it's, it's great. Did it work? Well, I mean, technically it hasn't worked yet. I mean, there's a lot of couples that think that uh, they're going to volunteer for it. But I'm just saying it's going to give me enough time to prove my point to all my people at work. What are you complaining about? I'm, I'm complaining about, I'm, I'm sitting there in my cubicle, right? Uh -huh. And they're like, I don't know what real pain is, right? And this butch woman comes by me and like hits me in the arm. And of course, you know, I wince for a minute because that hurt. And then she's like, and I was like, ah! And then she's like, oh, you know what? Try having a baby, try having a baby. And you know, when I had this kid and bam, what are they gonna say then? I have a baby in my lap. Yeah, that'll finally prove you're not insane. Well, I know this, I'm not insane, okay? Mm -hmm. This, you know, it, it's not a real problem. I was telling everyone in the car, they had a good laugh, and these things, these theories just go like wildfire, okay? And, it, you know, you should have saw it. Tommy's girlfriend in the front just kept going. My ex in the back, she almost started dry heaving, almost threw up over the whole back seat. I was like a kid in Disney World, it was great. That's disturbing on so many levels. Why is that? Because first of all, you're comparing watching your ex-girlfriend dry heave to Disney World, and second of all, you don't like Disney World. Well, yeah, yeah, I know I don't like Disney World, but I had to say that so people can see a comparison. I mean, a good time for me is like taking my chi child to like China at the Bruce Lee theme park or something. That, that's real freedom in communist China. I mean, do you find me sadistic? No, because I don't like her, and as I've said multiple times to you, I will kill her and take the blame for it for you. I don't have anything left anymore. You know, it's so dramatic. Isn't Matt getting out of prison in, you know, a couple months? Four years. Does it really matter? Well, you know, anyways. She kept calling me and making excuses like it was my fault, you know? I just think I need, you know, some distance away from everything. Well, I have an idea. Such as? We moved to France together. Go on. Well, you know I've always said I'm going to get my husband pregnant instead of actually bearing the child myself. And with this new technology that you're talking about, it's actually possible. Plus, we're best friends, so we'd enjoy a sexless marriage. There's really no downside to this. There's actually no downside. So, marry me. I do.